there, this is Chad Garber. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to play Thank You by Led Zeppelin. I'm gonna show you three parts. Here they are. That's the first part. Second part is. So, if you like this video and videos like it, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more. Alright, let's get into it. It's a D. It starts out in the D. You, know, you put your pointer finger on the uh, second fret of the G string, your ring, your ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and your middle finger on the third, second fret of the E string. So, the first thing you do is you do that shape, and then you pick the open D by itself. Drum it down, pick it down, the D. And so what you're going to do is you're going to pick it down and pick up. Then you're going to put the your pinky on the third fret of the high E. on that third fret of the E, but then you're going to pull it off. You're going to do a pull off there. Then you're going to pick down again. Two down. Actually, I do an alternate, so I go down, so I go down, up. Stroke there. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my ring finger off of the second fret. I'm sorry, my middle finger off the second fret of the E to that other one. Hit that twice. And I alternate pick there. back on the second fret of the E. Now take it off again. Pick it down, take it off again, pick it back. So that's the that's the main part of the song. song because the next what you do next is take your middle finger and put it on the third fret of the low, the A and then move your pointer finger to the second fret of the E okay takes a little bit of practice but you can do it you're just picking your again you're putting your middle finger on the third fret of the a and your your pointer finger your middle finger on the third fret of the a and your middle finger on the high e first second fret of the high e. and you pick that low the third a the third fret of the a and then you do the same thing Up, you're using the pointer finger at that time. So you put your 
pinky there again. And then you gotta take your, and it's kind of a pain in the butt if you're not if you're not used to these chords, but it's easy once you get them. Then you're gonna take your pointer finger, put put it on the second fret of the A, and then you got your back, you got your uh, your ring, your middle finger on the second fret of the E, and the pinky and the ring finger are still the same. Way. And you do that same format. And you go back to the, the, the original. So the bottom line is the pinky and the ring finger do the same thing the whole time. You just move around your pointer finger and your middle finger. Yeah, it might take you some practice if you're if you're not used to those chords. If if you are used to those chords, it'll be real easy. It sounds just like that song. Oh, I can't remember the song. I wonder what song came first. Thank you or this other one? Pick it up. Thank you, later. Um, what that woman has done to me. I don't know. I don't know what that song is. I don't know who, what song came first, but it's the same chords. Okay. Second part is. You're going to put your pointer finger over the second fret of all the strings except for the low E. You're going to put your middle finger on the second fret of the B, your ring finger on the fourth fret of the G, I mean the D, and your pinky on the fourth fret of the D. There you go. Then you're going to do an E major, which is basically your, your middle finger on the second fret of the A, your ring finger on the second fret of the D, your pointer finger on the first fret of the G. So, Open E, but then you close it with an open A. You hit the open A string and then put your pointer finger on the second fret of the D. finger on the third fret of the A, your middle finger on the second fret of the D, your pointer finger on the, the first fret of the B. Then just do a G, which is your pointer finger on the second fret of the A, your middle finger on the third fret of the E, your ring finger on the third fret of the B, and your pinky on the third fret of the E. And then you go back to the D, which is your pointer finger on the first second fret of the G, I'm sorry, yes, G, your middle finger. I'm sorry, your ring finger on the third fret of the B, and then your ring, your middle finger on the second fret of the E. Part of it when the, it's just the keyboard, you're not really playing, but you can always do the, you can always finger pick it. Mm -hmm. 
I usually you finger play like this if you want to. You know, over finger pick it or just pick, you know, just do it um You're just breaking down the chord and arpeggios if you want to do that when it's when it's not cranking. There's a lot of keyboard at the very beginning. And so that is the lesson. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please feel free to subscribe. And I will see you later. But have a great day jamming out with Led Zeppelin.